What is up, everybody? It's Dante Walton here. Today, I'm going to give my review of Episode 9 of The Last of Us, the Season 1 finale. But before we get things started, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more content like this coming soon. Again, this is my spoiler review for the Season 1 finale of The Last of Us, so I'll be spoiling anything uh, that will happen in this first season. Again, I didn't play too much of the game, but I'm assuming this whole season was first game I had, didn't play anything of part two so season two maybe beyond I don't know will be new to me as well so yeah keep that in mind and without further ado let's get in with the review episode nine was titled look for the light which is actually like the ending of like the title from episode one which is the fireflies motto when you're lost in darkness look for the light so I thought that was pretty clever uh, but yeah, this episode, definitely very captivating. Right off the bat, we start with, oh, Ashley Johnson, which is, I do know and did know, she's the voice, she plays Ellie, she, she also did motion capture, she plays Ellie in the video game. Yeah, I really like Ashley Johnson. Um, I've seen her in like other stuff and like heard her in other stuff. Recess is one that immediately comes to mind from Ashley Johnson, but yeah, she plays Ellie's mother in like a flashback sequence where we see the night that Ellie was born. Uh, Anna is her name, the mother. She is attacked by an infected while giving birth. She claims that she cut the cord before she got bit, but I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not. But uh, nonetheless, that kind of, I think that explains why Ellie has some sort of immunity to like the cordyceps. So I'm wondering how many other children were put in that situation. It's probably rare, but there might be others out there. I don't know, which kind of ties into the end where let's just talk about this. Um, yeah, Joel, like they, the whole thing was that they're going to take Ellie to the Firefly so they can possibly make a cure and all that. Joel is kind of saying, you know, we can just, we don't have to keep going. We can just go and stay at Tommy's, like, be safe and all that. But Ellie says that, no, they have to finish what we started. And that all of what she's done can't have been for nothing, you know. So she really wants to go through with possibly finding the cure. And that's something that's been set up throughout the series. Like, her losing Riley, her trying to possibly save Sam, but like curing his infection with their blood and all that. So it's shown, and even there they kind of spell it out. She wants to finish this mission. She's on this mission, doesn't want to turn back now. She's almost there. So the fact that Joel makes this choice to, when uh, Marlene tells Joel that she's being prepped for surgery and that they're going to remove the cordyceps from her body to possibly study it and create a cure, but Joel's worried because the cordyceps grow in the brain, so she might not survive the surgery. So Joel does what he does, and he goes back to a little bit of that bloodthirsty Joel that was kind of uh, reawakened last episode, you know. Um, yeah, so he kills the fireflies. He kills the doctor. He kills the firefly that surrendered. He kills the unarmed doctors. He holds the nurses at gunpoint. He takes Ellie. When Marlene tries to explain to him, and I agreed with Marlene here that this isn't Joel's or Marlene's choice to make. It's what El what would Ellie want, and we do. Seems like Ellie would have wanted to go through with the surgery, even if it might have cost her own life. But Joel just kills Marlene, and yeah, he saves Ellie and wants to protect Ellie, but at the cost of humanity, you know. And it doesn't even seem like he hesitated. He doesn't want to lose another daughter. Ellie is definitely a daughter figure for sure for him now. He's even openly talking about Sarah and all that. And he's being a lot more open with Ellie. And the fact that he's this open, Ellie asks, like, oh, does the like, time heals all wounds? But Joel says, not this one. And he implies that Ellie did. He even opens up about a time where he attempted to take his own life, but... Kind of when he mentioned episode three, like from the scar on his face, it's from a guy who shot and missed. He was the guy who shot and missed. He flinched when he pulled the trigger, and he's happy that 
yeah, that he he actually didn't end up fully going through with it and all that. So, but I did find it very fascinating the the way they're able to, because we know what Joel and Ellie's been through. We know Joel's backstory and all that, especially especially through these nine episodes. We've seen Joel and Ellie grow together. So we they, they we understand why Joel does what he does, but at the same time, like this show did a really good job of like taking our hero, who's basically the hero for most of the season, kind of turning him into the villain in a way. He doomed all of humanity for even though he he's doing it for love. It's a selfish thing. Like Ellie wouldn't have even wanted that. She even asked him at the end, like. Like questions like what Joel said because he lied to Ellie saying that oh that they gave up on finding the cure and that the hospital was attacked by raiders that's where they had to leave so even Joel knows that Ellie wouldn't have wanted this or else why would he lie to this extreme about it you know and when Ellie asked Joel like okay straight up were you lying about the things you said about the fireflies he says no Ellie says, okay. And I wonder if she totally believes him. At the very least, she's suspicious of him. That's why she asked to. Because she knows what Joel will go through to protect the people he loves. She's seen it firsthand. So, yeah, all of that was completely fascinating. And the way that they're able to have Joel go from the hero to the villain, but still be framed as the protagonist of the story throughout, that, that was really interesting. So, Oh, and a li- another... Uh, interesting thing about the whole Anna thing, Ellie's mother. Ashley Johnson, obviously, like I said before, she played Ellie in the video game. But even in the show, like, she reminded me a lot of Ellie, like, the version from the show. You know, so that was really, really cool. Really cool way of cast, uh, to put someone from the game, like, cast into the show. Her playing her mother. Uh, play her, like, Ashley Johnson playing the mother of the character that she played in the video games. So that was really cool. She acted... She, like I said, she acted like Ellie. She had the knife that we know that's where the knife has come from. Um, I think, like, the jacket that she wrapped up Ellie in to give Marlene, like, didn't Ellie wear that jacket, like, when they're leaving the QZ? And she might have worn it for, like, a few episodes or something. Um, but it looks similar, at least, if it's not the same. But they also did explain, like, Marlene and Anna, that they're lifelong friends. And so her taking Ellie was kind of like the dying wish uh, for from Anna. Kind of like Joel taking Tess to the Fireflies was uh, Tess's dying wish too. So I think that was an interesting connection. And when Joel says, you don't understand a Marlene, when he wants, it, wants it, uh, her not to go through the surgery, Marlene says, she's the only one that does know. Just showing, I don't know, really like comparing and contrasting it. Like Marlene, she has a connection to to Ellie as well, an emotional connection. She was there when she was born. She was like childhood best friends with her mother. She promised to protect her. So her being willing to do this, like she wouldn't want her her Ellie or anything, but she doing it for the good of humanity and just showing how Joel and Ellie, um, how Joel and Marlene differ in that. So I thought that was very very well done. Yeah, like a great. Great season overall, I gotta say, for The Last of Us. Really curious what's gonna happen beyond this. If and when Ellie finds out the truth, will she forgive Joel? Like, will she? Because she wanted. It really seems like she would have gone through it, gone through with it, even if she thought that she was gonna die from the surgery. She, if she, if it meant finding a cure, you know. And Joel took that choice from her. Um, but I guess you can argue she didn't know beforehand at the sur- before the surgery uh, that she might die. I don't know, but yeah, either way, really interesting. Curious what's going to happen in season two and beyond. If I know there's only two games, but I wonder if they'll go past what's in the game or not. If the show is popular enough or they have enough story potential, but I'm really excited to see what goes what uh, happens in the future, though. But Really enjoyed the season. Loved a lot a lot of the performances. Pedro Pascal, Bella Ramsey, 
they just kept getting better and better as the season went on, in my opinion. Really enjoyed how they work off each other. Really enjoyed the writing of the show, the directing. Just really, really well done. That's all I got to say for this, and catch one next time. Bye.